Hi, I'm Jack from Mission Control. I'm Jacob, and we are with... Steve Dugan, Head of Graduate Enterprise at Teesside University. So as the Head of Enterprise, what does your job entail? My job is to provide the conditions and support within which Teesside University graduates can start high performance, scalable graduate startup businesses to carve their own path in life. Awesome. How did you found Launchpad? Like, what, how did it all come about? Wow, there's a story. <laughs> so, um, two years ago, uh, we had a graduate enterprise project that was uh, European funded. That European funding came to an end, and it was a time to renew and refresh and revisit what enterprise was. We didn't have a brand, we didn't have a building that people wanted to come into. The project was called uh, Teesside University Graduate Enterprise, or Tuggy, <laughs> not the most dynamic of names. So my job um, was from a blank sheet of paper, if Carlsberg did graduate enterprise projects, what would it look like? We designed from scratch um, Teesside Launchpad. The branding, the culture, the ethos in the building, a uh, sense of creating a community, not just a project, um, a base camp, a home for young entrepreneurs to feel comfortable in. Uh, the space that you're in now, the ideas room with uh, VR, with Xbox One, with surround sound, ping pong table, Kind of predictably, um, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. right to create a space. The event we're having tonight, um, touchdown, we have beers and pizza. It's a much more um, enterprising, entrepreneurial type of space than we had in the past. Um, we also brought in for the first time direct grant funding. So you might see the posters behind you there for Launchpad Fuel. So every year, um, graduates here at Teesside get access to up to £19,000 of grant funding, not a loan, not repayable. It's cash in hand to start a scalable graduate business. That's awesome. So how, our campaign is all about game design and how the game design in the, in the university has created a friendly environment. Yeah. How has Launchpad helped game designers create a nice environment where they can I all think network? It's the other way around. It's your, Launchpad has helped. It's how games designers yeah. and game studios have helped Launchpad create a really interesting community. You know, many of the businesses you see upstairs at Launchpad are game studios and they brought with them a creative, innovative, uh, community feel that you might not get if you had a regular business centre. So actually we have a debt of gratitude to students from the School of Computing for really helping to define what large plan is. So they've recreated a great environment and you've just... A huge contribution, a huge contribution. Yeah. A huge contribution. Launchpad isn't all digital businesses. We have a furniture manufacturer, we have fashion designers, we have a crime scene business. And we have cosplayers as well. We have a cosplay <laughs> prop manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. But the game studios bring big teams, they bring large numbers, and they bring a real sense of support and collaboration that you get in the games industry. How do the developers at Launchpad, and can you tell us about some of them as well? Like yeah, how do they sure. all interact and help each other? So we have teams um, like Silhouette Wolf, um, it's a three-man team. And in a small team like that, you can never have all the competencies that you need to make a great game like The Mimic. The Mimic is just released on Steam. It's a beautiful platform puzzle game but it needs music, it needs great art, it needs great game design. So actually, a little bit of all the game studios are in the Mimic, because they collaborated and supported each other to get that game from concept all the way through in a short space of time, a year, and to build a really high quality game and product. So although we have separate teams, like Silhouette Wolf and Foxbite and R8 Games, um, they collaborate together all the time. Are there any like, AAA games that are in the works here? RA Studios are upstairs um, with a AAA title um, which is called Formula Fusion. Um, it's just, it's live on Steam right now, but they're going to port it across to Xbox and uh, PlayStation 4. That's a million pound investment gone into that studio. Yeah. 30,000 pounds a month has gone in an investment to get that studio to where it is now. And the plans are to keep them on campus and build around them uh, internships and placements. It's going to be really exciting. So do you really see Teesside becoming the next hub for game design? Teesside University is more than likely the best game design university in the UK. Abate might disagree, you know, but um, and it was interesting at EGX this year in Birmingham, of all the universities that were there promoting their games course, Teesside had the most game studios showing games at a game show. <laughs> so Teesside University graduates go on to actually make retailable commercial game products and we're super proud of that. In fact, CodeSync, one of our uh, launchpad fledglings, they've been out in the outside world now for a few, a few years. They're a million pound plus turn of a company and they won Game of the Show, oh, wow. uh, which was great for Augmented Empire. That's great. Yeah.
Where do you see Launchpad being in the future? Where do you like it to go? We'd like to push into undergraduate, um, and the building that you're in now, we're about to spend a significant amount of money refurbishing the Victoria building. We're going to convert one wing into micro-manufacturing workshops with industrial flooring, extraction, sinks, so students that want to manufacture products here can wow. do that. We're going to have uh, six big game studios up upstairs, in big open plan game studio spaces, awesome. more micro offices, and a pick pack and post room. So if you're a student starting a business, selling things online, you know, where do you store things? Where's your warehouse? We're going to give you a warehouse, goods in, goods out, nice. bubble wrap, brown paper, labeling machine. So launch pads are changing, it's growing, it's transforming. But by um, graduation next year, the building you're in now will be um, completely different. That's awesome. Exciting. It's it is. Exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very hey, much. listen, you're welcome. Thank you. Stay behind for big repeaters. We shall do, we shall do. Okay. We have the mission control, we're standing off. Oh, nice.